We're now starting to see the effects of Kentucky's House Bill 611 that went into effect over this summer. That legislation mandates cases of students who accumulate 15 or more unexcused absences to be referred to the county attorney's office for review. And sometime this month, those letters will start going out. Wave News reporter Kirsten Foote talked with JCPS leaders today and breaks down what parents need to know. Mayor, I spoke with, I asked Dr. Marty Polio what the measure of success for this new law in JCPS will be. And he tells me getting chronically absent numbers back down to pre-pandemic levels. But the road to get there could just be starting. It is not our goal to pursue these charges against these parents or guardians, but I will, we will. With the implementation of House Bill 611 underway, letters are slated to be sent out sometime this month to parents of students in grades K through 5 who have 15 or more unexcused absences. Those parents could face criminal charges. The offense, unlawful transaction with a minor in the third degree. This is a class A misdemeanor, which is punishable by up to 365 days in jail or up to a $500 fine or both. This comes at a time where chronic absenteeism is something schools across the nation and right here at JCPS have been battling, made worse by the pandemic. Last school year, 24% of JCPS students had 15 or more days of unexcused absences. That's compared to 11% in the 2018 school year. The research is clear. When a student is chronically absent, the likelihood of them being proficient in reading and math drops dramatically. Dr. Polio says it's in part following the law and dishing out tough love to ensure students' success. Unfortunately, absenteeism correlates with high poverty. There's no doubt about it. So many of our students who are already behind are missing 18 or 20 more days or even more than their peers. It becomes impossible not only to catch up, which we talk about, but to even keep pace with their peers. JCPS says they'll continue to provide their wraparound services to prevent students from reaching the threshold. But Dr. Polio's calling on the community to play their part in addressing chronic absenteeism. Yes, the school system and the schools have an important role in this, but our community partners and the entire community must step up and support all of our students when it comes to attendance. Now, it's a different story when it comes to grades 6 through 12. And for those students that are chronically absent, instead of the um, county attorney's office pro possibly prosecuting those parents, that student will be referred to a court-designated worker. That's a practice that they say is already in place. Because of those students being in a higher grade level, that court-designated worker will help that student work through the issue. Reporting live, Kirsten Foote, Wave News. Thank you.